All right, I'm going to show you how to get started with the world's most powerful Java application generator, the Jiggy Generator. The Jiggy Generator allows you to generate Java applications. So you go to getjiggy.com. That's the website to download it. You go to getjiggy.com. Uh, that takes you to the home page. Select the downloads link. Click on that. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to the download page. Select your operating system and click on download. Now it takes you to SourceForge where you can download the generator, save the file. It shouldn't take that long depending on your internet speed. It downloads pretty fast. Once it's downloaded, you want to extract the file. Pay attention to where you're extracting it to so you know where to open it at. And it take a little bit of time for you for it to be extracted. All right, so once it's extracted now, you want to click on the folder. Um, you want to click on the JiggyGen start script. You may want to create a shortcut to that script. The server will start and it will take you to the terms and conditions page. So we want to read the terms and conditions and agree. This is the requirements and you want to say begin creating my project. So now you want to say the name of your project, whatever you want to name it, your application or your project. You want to enter your database name and you want to enter the database URL. So this is the JDBC URL. All right, so just to make sure, here's the database, here's the world database, and here are the tables. You got the user table in there. Okay, so now let's go back and finish filling out this form. So you enter your database username and your database user's password. All right, then you enter the base package name for your project. For this example, we're going to use com.jiggy. And if you're like me, you use HTML templates uh, for your for your view, for your interface. You want to go, you want to say yes, you have some HTML templates. Then you want to go to the location of where those templates are being stored. So here is a template that we're using here. Um, so what's going to happen is you say where these HTML templates exist and the generator is going to create JSPs out of them automatically for you. And here is the location of where those templates are. Okay, so the only last required uh, field is where you extracted the Jiggy generator. So this is where it was extracted at. And you enter that location. You say that you've read and agreed to the terms and conditions and create create my project now. And Jiggy goes to work. Jiggy is now generating your project based on the configurations that you've entered. It will create a NetBeans compliant project. So now your project is ready to be downloaded. This is a brand new project that you've created. Um, don't forget to vote yes that you want to see this Jiggy Generator be able to create Eclipse compatible projects. All right, so let's go to where the project was downloaded to. It's a zip file, so we would want to extract it. All right, so now we've, we're extracting the newly generated Java application that you had Jiggy generated for you. And it's the, it might take a little bit of time to extract, but uh, be patient. Um, this is a newly created project. Um, it's got all the good stuff that you want in it. Um, it's worth a little bit of time to wait for. Now, here we go. So it's done extracting. 
All right, so when it's extracted and we open it, we see a NetBeans project structure. So now we want to open up NetBeans because we want to open up this project that we just created. So let's open up the project. Go to where the project exists. Here it is, the Get Started with Jiggy project. NetBeans recognizes the projects and opens it up. All right, so NetBeans is now doing some background scanning of the project. All right, shouldn't take too much longer. And here is our project in NetBeans. If you open it up, you will see that it is a genuine NetBeans project. So here are your source packages. You have your controllers, your DAOs, your domain objects, all of those have been generated for you. You didn't have to do anything and they're there. You have your base DAO, you have your implementation DAO, you have your user table right there. And here's your user DAO, your state DAO right there. And here's your state table in your database. We have your region DAO, which is already in there. There's a country DAO. Let's open it up and look in it. Okay, let's do a little bit of formatting here. All right. And if you notice, it's got all of your simple inserts and updates are already in there. Okay, so let's look at the web pages folder. Let's open up the JSP folder, and here are all of your HTMLs for your templates that's been converted to JSPs automatically for you. All right, now let's run this baby. So we click on run, and now NetBeans is uh, building the project and deploying it. To the Glassfish server. Okay, this may take a little bit of time. All right, so now the project is running, and here you go. Here's your freshly created getting started with Jiggy application. Uh, the login is already in there. So let's test that out. So let's enter a username. Let's just make something up. All right, made a password, log me in. Wrong password, username, password combination. So if we look in the database, we have a user in there who should be able to log in there. All right, let's put that username in there and that password Click the log me in, log in successful. So there you have it, folks. This is getting started with the Git Jiggy generator. As you notice, it just works.